Hey guys, this is a quick little montauk slash prelude video slash, you know, um, this is my third attempt at this video because I've had various, um, graphics options just tell me no. Um, let's get on here see if we can get away from that dust storm that's killing my frame rate. Not really because there's plenty more across. Um, um, basically, I am playing Fallout New Vegas with Tale of Two Wastelands installed. What that does is it pulls in Fallout 3 um, mods to, uh, or Fallout 3 files and resources into Fallout New Vegas. So you can see the Capital Wasteland in the um, New Vegas engine and actually do all the quests and all that there too. Um, other important mods I have are Project Nevada, which is New Vegas' version of Fallout Wanderers Edition. Um, it changes a lot of settings in the game, makes loot harder to find, adds in um, um, harder hardcore mode, um, adds in neat little overlays like the visor overlay that will load here. Um, I also have the HUD series by Gopher installed. It allows you to move the HUD around, uh, make it disappear, things like that. Um, I also have some pretty dramatic zoom going on. Um, I have the World of Pain, which basically is what it sounds. It makes things harder, or it makes combat more difficult. Um, I have a neat little mod called True Leaning. You basically can lean in one direction, lean in the other. Um, and that's about it. Um, let's see, I have DynaVision, which is uh, depth of field, um, also like cinematic overlays. Like, I can turn on old film, vignette, um, track Vesseline cam, things like that, uh, which I may play around with as we go on. Um, it also has the Imaginator, which changes lighting and all those effects. Um, I might actually figure out how to get rid of all the dust going on here, because I think that's killing my frame rate really, really badly. Um, let's see, what else is there? Uh, I'm using a handful of smaller mods, like Weapon Mods Extended, um, Nevada Skies, um, Electro City, where you'll see, um, uh, like, exterior lights pop up, um, it's supposedly quite lore friendly, which is what I'm going for. Um, let's look down at the ground here, and it's still not much better, but eh. Um, it's very pretty. It's just slow. Um, yeah, my machine isn't the best. It's um, fairly low end, uh, especially for what I'm trying to pull off here. Um, I wonder if there's a way to fix that while I'm actually doing this with you here. Maybe, maybe. Hey, high frame right there. Um, I also have a handful of Nuka Cola things that I just kind of added in. It's very fun. Awesome. Uh, Thermohydrograph. Um, so I'm hoping to um, improve my machine as we go on. Um, and see how that goes. Uh, I have a confession to make. I've never actually played a legit playthrough of uh, Fallout or Fallout or Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas. Um, I'm the kind of guy that likes to play story and um, uh, I don't like to die a lot, so I cheat. Um, I don't know what these moves do. mess with this later. Um, so I'm actually going to try and not, I'm not going to cheat on this playthrough, and um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, near weather conditions, I don't know what this means. I'll have to look into all this. Oh. Alright, 
I need to figure out a way to get rid of this rid of this dust. So if anybody has any ideas, um, feel free to let me know. Um, and um, most of the backstory is already in the oh, look at that is in the teaser. And um, that's pretty much all I have. Uh, sorry this was kind of rough. Like I said, this was my third attempt at this video uh, due to various graphical errors. Um, I'm going to try and get those fixed for part one of what will probably be chapter one of this playthrough. And um, we'll see if the next one gets better. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, I'm using a mix of Bandicam, Audacity, and um, Sony Vegas to um, record and edit. So, um, just uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know. If not, um, we'll figure something out and uh, life will be good. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.